Hello Airship fans, it's the dude here with uh, Volunteer Paul and uh, today on Volunteer Day we've done a number of things. The uh, bottom layering of the uh, Airship dome roof has been a great uh, success and also putting in the um, dome roof air vent and cap which uh, Paul's been very good been a in the construction trade yeah. but I was going to ask um, what what uh, drives you to be interested in airships per se and uh, how'd you get interested well, and what do you think of the build so far my my drive is just the fact that it's you, it's utilizing a, a wasted resource which is um, tires mainly and uh, they're awesome building blocks they're yep. strong and they're um, yeah, yeah they, they, it's, it's a problem trying to get rid of them, so why not utilise them? Okay. That, that's the word I was looking for, utilisation. Utilisation. Yeah, I was just telling Paul before about how I got the local tyre guy, and it's pretty easy, straightforward to get a hundred, well I got 150 tyres in this build, and uh, it doesn't take very long at all to get them all together, and mm. the cardboard and the cans and all the things yep. that you need. It's the, the, all the materials are there at your, yep. um, if you don't, if yeah, you and just the, have a look around. Dirt. Yep, the mud and the straw, it's all, it's all material, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm pretty impressed um, for someone like myself to have um, no, you know, construction background or anything like that. You've done a pretty good job and uh, the integrity of the building is awesome. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome and anyone, any shows that anyone can get out there and have a crack and do it. Yeah, which is... Uh, at uh, minimal cost. Yeah, which goes back to the, you know, when I saw uh, Mike Reynolds in that lecture, which was exactly what he was talking about. He, as he said, he kind of inspired me to the fact that it's a very forgiving type of build. You can yes. make uh, mistakes and it's, yes. it's, it's able to accommodate that and you're able to get around it with minimal ease. But uh, yeah, maybe just talk about a um, bit, of, bit, of, bit of your own background and what you intend to do. Do you intend to sort of like use the Earthship model maybe to do absolutely, your own stuff? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, yes, I mean, um, studying permaculture and, and like learning the whole system and recycling, um, it's reuse, it's, 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 um, it's a win-win-win in my book. And um, yeah, my background's come from construction. So um, yeah, I, I know what goes into it. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, but yeah, it, it, you don't need a construction background to do this type of thing. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And we talked about um, insurance costs, like yeah. the, like um, yeah, I, I'm not too sure what yeah what could actually destroy a building like this. So I would actually question your need to actually even have insurance. So it sounds like another saving right there. Yeah, it's <laughs> be fireproof, floodproof, earthquake proof. Yeah. And, um, Absolutely. It'd be a bomb shelter if you need one. <laughs> <laughs> so in summary, Paul, how do you see, see Earthships and, and, and the future, maybe? Well, as my opinion, Earthships are the, are the future and sustainable, affordable building, utilising resources. Yeah, that society has discarded. That the society has discarded and that it's strong, the sound, and um, yeah, it can only grow. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, my thrust is, as, as I mentioned before, as a lifeline counsellor, I, I talk to so many young people who seem to be without hope. Yeah. Yeah, you know, this cash, um, they haven't got the cash to, to get where they want to go. They're just surviving from rental week to rental week, and uh, they don't seem to have any hope going forward. So, in a way, it's 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 about um, offering an alternate path. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, yeah, and uh, that's attainable. Yeah, because of the cost, really, all you need is the land. Yeah, and the, the, the materials are really readily available. And um, yeah, yeah. No, we've, I mean we've already picked up. I mean I've already picked up some ideas about you know wiring and, and how you did the um, the earth the, the air cap mm. there up there. But you, we've, I've already we've talked about the berm. Like yes, that the was a concept that yep. we talked about today about how to snuggle it into the earth and just absolutely uh, cap on the the actual temperature of the earth to keep it cool in summer and warm in winter so you know, and be aesthetically pleasing as well yes, they grow grass right yeah, over the top the, sh the sharing of knowledge there is the probably the other aspect that i see yeah. about earthships is the uh, community spirit yeah, absolutely yeah <laughs> and yeah and you can build and grow in a community in an environment like this yeah yeah it's awesome <laughs> Oh well, thanks for uh, coming, Paul, no and uh, look Great. forward to maybe on yeah. grand opening day in yes, November. So absolutely. keep uh, an eye out for that, punters. Yes. But uh, from Earthship Australia, it's bye for now. Oh.